Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome back to Titan yet again. Blast from the past, this is Huygens probe landing on Titan and basically sending actual real footage showing us what the surface of this beautiful moon looks like. Today we're going to be talking about the difficulties of living and colonizing and basically um, creating anything right here on this beautiful moon because it's so far away and because it's so cold here. But specifically we're all focusing on energy. How are we actually going to be able to produce any energy here if the sun is so far away? Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So Cassini actually was able to capture this incredible footage of never before seen far far away world known as Titan. This is um, something that blew a lot of minds away including my own and um, created a lot of new sort of inspiration for exploring this world and possibly one day colonizing it. We've discovered a lot of new things about it, we discovered how cold it is here, we discovered how earth-like it is and how absolutely magnificent the actual uh, liquid cycle is here as well. But what we haven't discovered and what we haven't really figured out just yet is how are we going to be able to survive here and most importantly just do basic stuff like creating energy. You know, you have to keep warm in there, right? And how we're going to do this. You may have seen my video about the solar panels uh, that I made um, a few days ago and in that video I mentioned that at this distance we are going to be receiving not a lot of sunlight. Uh, the reason Cassini mission will use nuclear reactors is because solar panels would not be actually um, very feasible to use here. Solar panels will only be able to function at about 1% efficiency compared to Earth. So if we can't use solar panels, what are we going to be able to use? And because on top of being far away from the sun, Titan also has extremely thick atmosphere, it means that if you were to place an actual solar panel here, even if it's very large, it's barely going to produce any energy whatsoever. So that's kind of out. Today we're going to talk about some potential alternatives to that because we can't really bring nuclear energy here because we don't, just don't have enough plutonium to create a feasible uh, nuclear reactor on this object and also find a way to basically somehow um, uncover and create it from within the planet, but that's that's still kind of far away from being a reality because we haven't found any surface here to have any uranium or plutonium inside. And so what can we possibly do? Well, one of the best um, solutions so far is actually chemical reactions. Now, you would kind of think that, you know, okay, this is Titan, it's full of hydrocarbons, it's full of stuff that makes our cars run. Can't we just like burn it and create energy that way? Essentially, can't we just create fossil fuels there? No, we can't because there's almost no oxygen. There, um, without uh, oxidation, uh, fossil fuels don't actually work. There's no way to burn them. We could create um, oxygen from the water here by essentially using what's known as electrolysis and converting water into hydrogen and oxygen and using that oxygen to burn the hydrocarbons and then create energy that way. But where is this energy going to come from, right? Where is the electrolysis energy going to come from? So that's kind of a catch-22. You can't really produce oxygen without putting some energy in there. And so scientists have actually been uh, really thinking hard about what we can possibly do here. Um, wind turbines are an option, but these things are huge, they take a while to deploy and they're not really reliable in terms of producing energy non-stop. You do need a lot of wind and we don't really know how strong the winds are on Titan are yet. Uh, a more feasible solution is to actually deploy um, turbines in the liquid oceans, hydrocarbon oceans that are here on Titan. So in other words, we could potentially use the tidal effects and essentially tides going up and down and produce energy that way, or we could create um, something equivalent to a hydroelectric dam that we have here on Earth, uh, but basically using hydrocarbon liquids that would uh, be stored in a kind of a pond and then you would use gravity to try to create energy that way. Now that would actually be quite a construction that would be very difficult to create without energy to begin with. So once again we're stuck with that catch-22 of we need energy to create this first before we can create more energy. 
Now, geothermal plants are actually slightly more realistic to create because you could potentially bring up liquid water that would be used to uh, spin the turbines from within the actual um, Titan itself. And we think that the um, layer underneath the ice might be even warmer than the surface of Titan, which would allow us to use the temperature gradient to create more energy. But that still needs to be investigated, so we don't really know how effective this would be. And this really leaves us with only one uh, viable solution as of 2018. A chemical reaction that's known as hydrogenation of acetylene. Now, this reaction is used here on Earth, but not actually that, that much. And uh, at the same time, we haven't really tested it in more extreme conditions. We have tested it in room temperature, but we don't know if it's going to work in super cold conditions on Titan. But in a nutshell, what this reaction does is it uses acetylene with excess of hydrogen that's pretty much everywhere on Titan, as is acetylene, um, and it produces other uh, molecules, such as, for example, ethane and ethylene here, um, and this in itself produces energy, and this can be um, quite a, an effective way for us to produce a lot of energy on Titan if we actually figure out if it works in these conditions, because it's going to be like minus 180 degrees Celsius. And despite relatively comfortable uh, pressures of 1.6 atmospheres, um, there's still quite a lot of other unpredictable environmental issues here. So we actually have to test this reaction in space and in those specific conditions before we can figure out if it actually even works. And so basically, that really leaves us with this one particular um, way of generating energy that seems to maybe work, but we're still not sure. In other words, we actually don't have any means as of today to create effective um, colony on, on Titan. We don't have any means of creating energy for that colony to survive. And although previously we would have solved this problem by basically bringing a lot of plutonium with us and sticking a bunch of these nuclear reactors um, into our initial colony while everything else is being made around it, today it's actually kind of impossible because we unfortunately do not have enough plutonium left anymore as plutonium is generated uh, during the creation of nuclear weapons. And because of the nuclear non-proliferation agreement, we're not allowed to make any more. So we're kind of stuck with maybe three, four maximum of these reactors that we can create. And that's about it until we figure out how to make more. And so that's kind of where we are right now. We do have the theoretical technology. We do have the potential, but we just don't have any physical and practical means of creating any of this and thus colonizing Titan. And so pretty much most of the types of energy that we use here on Earth are not going to work on Titan. There's no um, oxidation reactions, uh, there's no solar panels, and there's definitely not going to be any easy way for us to bring nuclear energy either. We need to kind of create something new, something completely groundbreaking that might actually work here, and that means that we need to put our best minds at it and try to create something really cool, like some sort of a really awesome easy to deploy um, electric dam that would totally work on Titan by just landing there and suddenly starting to generate energy by essentially creating a gradient in the liquid oceans on Titan. If you have a cool solution, post it in the comments below. But for now, that's unfortunately all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to explain to you how difficult it is actually to create energy here and how this is still quite an unknown to us and quite a uh, frontier to be conquered because even though we do have the idea of what we could possibly do here, we don't have any means to actually create a feasible colony. Well, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully now you know what types of energy do not work on Titan and why we need to create something completely new and groundbreaking. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't and maybe even support this channel on Patreon. Space out and as always, bye bye. And for now though, I guess what we could potentially do here on Titan is, well, maybe we could use the energy and the tidal effects from Saturn itself to somehow, maybe, generate energy on Titan right here. Because we know Saturn actually creates a tremendous amount of magnetic field, maybe we could use that somehow? For now, that's just a dream and just a speculation. We'll have to figure this out in the near future. Space out.